Once you've performed all of the tax adjustments, we then want to get the tax information out to your tax software. Again, whatever it happens to be. So to do that, under the file menu, we have the export option. And the first option available to us at the top is tax software. So when I select this, it's going to open up to the export to tax software and it's giving me the tax software that I selected in engagement properties. Now if I had made the incorrect selection in engagement properties, I can override it here to the correct selection. Remember, we build the conversion table to build that export file. So whatever is selected will automatically create the appropriate export file for it. I'm going to leave it on the Go Systems tax and I'll create an export file name. So I will call this caseware zone and the extension is going to be FT. The tax year is looking at my engagement properties to pull the tax year of 2012. I do have an option to also export my prior year, but that's up to you and you want to make sure that you're not necessarily overriding prior year information in your tax return by exporting the prior year information. If this was a consolidated file, we could be entity specific, so I could export the individual C corps and then consolidate them within the tax software or if I needed to export all of the S corps together I could choose to do that as well. We also have the ability to include a sub entity branch in a consolidation. If it's a foreign company I can export the foreign exchange amounts and I can also include other basis adjustments. As far as what's being exported we can choose the level of balance. Unadjusted would be our clients balances that were given to us. Adjusted would include the normal entries, report would include reclassification entries, and consolidation also includes the eliminating entries. Whatever balance level that we choose for the book balance, we also add the tax adjustments to it for the purposes of creating that export file. So I'm just going to copy the path. Before I hit OK, I want to point out that there is extensive help available to us for the tax export and I am looking at the Go System Tax Export. It tells us step by step what we need to do to set this up within working papers, as well, once set up, what to do to make sure that it comes into your tax software properly. So don't be afraid to click that Help button. It will help you out where necessary. I'm going to close the Help, and I'm going to click OK to export that file. Now, I, that quickly, the export file has been created, and it tells me in my dialog that I've got some obsolete or invalid codes for this particular tax software or maybe they've just been completely obsolete. That tells me that I need to go back into my template and make sure the tax codes that are being applied are still valid and if they're not I should update them to a valid tax export code. Then I can copy that new mapping database into my files and just re-autofill the properties based on the map numbers that were assigned and then export again. It's much quicker than it might sound. So I'm going to just double check under my mapping and scroll across to the tax column and scroll down because here as we're looking through this if there is a tax code that is obsolete it will be flagged and there you go right there. So these tax codes are invalid and I should clear them out and update them with the appropriate tax codes. So fortunately for me, I got the warning on the export to let me know that I should come back here and clean this up. Your template should be reviewed every time there is an update to the tax codes in case where uh, provides updates typically as early as possible in January so that you can continue doing your taxes in the U.S. market. So make sure you check your mapping databases in your templates and they're properly updated and then copied into your client files accordingly. Now, let's go back and have a peek at that particular file that I just created. It's not necessary to do this part, but I just want to show you what has been exported and I'm going to open this up in Notepad as soon as I get that file. So I put that into the training folder and we're looking for the file called Caseware Zone FT and you can see that I did just create this at 123 Eastern Time today and I'll just open that up in Notepad. So here we have the tax lines, the descriptions and the amounts that are being exported to your tax software. So we can have a cursory glance review this to see if something's missing 
or if something's not being properly imported into your tax software, we can at least look at the intermediary file to see whether or not it made it in here. That's a very nice diagnostic feature if you're having any issues with bringing the numbers into your tax software. Let me just review very quickly what I went through. So to start off, I made sure under engagement properties that I had the appropriate tax jurisdiction. I selected all four tax entities before settling on the C Corp and I chose my tax vendor. From there, I went into my mapping and in the mapping, I made sure that I had set up in the columns, ideally, all four tax code columns, as well as enemy M3 codes. And remember to scroll down here if you had some sets before so that you can address any outdated tax codes. With those set up, I assigned the mapping numbers to the working trial balance. I did it using the auto map feature, however, we could have went to account, assign mapping numbers and drag those across. Once everything is mapped, the properties associated with the map numbers did get assigned to the accounts so that I was able to go back to my documents and create a new tax reconciliation document, choosing the properties tax reconciliation, detail and subline with main tax totals, and adjusting entry detail. Within that document, I then reordered the columns using view reorder column to get the preliminary and adjustments in there and move the annotation slightly out of the way. From there, I went into my adjusting entries to create a new tax entry. And I decided to use the type tax federal for my tax entry, of course, and post to the tax export codes rather than directly to the accounts, which then allowed me to create the adjustment which showed up in my tax reconciliation document. Once finished, I went to file, export, tax software, had it set up with the file name, clicked OK, and I'm ready to bring it into my tax software. 